What if I told you that you are taking in one food that is really and truly causing you to be sick? And you're doing this because you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to take better care of yourself, you are trying to do the right things for you, but this food is not good for you. Okay, what's the food that I'm talking about? Artificial sugars. Artificial sugars. Don't have them, stay away from them. They're franken food. It's food that you don't want in your body because it was created in a lab and you are not a science project. Yeah, 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 there's lots of people out there saying, well girl, I heard that that was bad for you so you should not eat that anymore. And you might ask, well, why shouldn't I eat that? And they say, well, I don't know, girl. It's just just because it's bad for you. It's bad for you. I saw it on social media. I saw it on the news. I saw it. I, my, I mean, my girlfriend, my best girlfriend at work, she told me that that was bad for you. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. And so, I want to give you some real deal information today. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what the food is. Let's talk about how to identify it, what issues it causes, and then lastly, we're going to talk about some healthy alternatives without losing flavor and taste in your food. Take a look. Yes, there's so many different names that you will find as artificial sugars in labels. But I need you to start not just looking at the front of the food, okay, where you'll see some great buzzwords we'll talk about in just a second, but I want you to turn it on the back. Mm, you are going to find ingredients in there. Here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a cheat sheet. The five most common that you're gonna see are ACE-K, also known as asulfamate potassium, aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, and sorbitol. So saccharin has been associated with bladder cancer and has been researched for a while. And as of recently, they said, okay, we've been doing a lot of research, but we don't think that this food really is causing a lot of problems. So in 1981, it was listed as an anticipated human carcinogen, but as of recently, it's been removed from that list. Okay, what changed? For real? And then aspartame, after being reviewed from 2020 to 2024 and 23, the World Health Association decided to go ahead and classify this food as a possible human carcinogen. What you mean possible? All right, if there's any possibility, I want you to use the possibility to keep yourself safe. There's a lot of studies that show that this is connected to lymphoma and leukemia and other forms of cancers as well. So there's some other ways that you might find that your body is reacting to these foods. So it might be a little bit of GI upset, like a little diarrhea, or bloating, or gassiness. Cardiovascular risk, mm. endocrine disruption. Ooh. And then here's a big one. You would think that you're taking this to help you lose weight, but these artificial sugars can also cause you to gain weight. What? I know, that's crazy. Because it tricks your body into thinking, oh my gosh, sugar is coming, yay! And then when it gets out to your stomach, wait a minute, there's no sugar there. Causing your body then to crave more and more and more sugar that's gonna cause you to take in more calories, carbs, and fat and glucose over time, which ultimately causes more weight gain. Oh no. On the front of the label, there are some things that you need to look for as well. So you're looking for things like light or light, diet, sugar-free, low calorie, 50% less carbs and sugar, no sugar added, zero calories, low carb or carb control, made with other flavor, reduced sugar. And foods that generally are not very low in calorie advertise as very low in calories. And you'll see a big badge of honor of that on the front of the label. So here's the message. Stay away from the Franken food. I know, yes, I know. You might be trying to control your blood sugar and that is okay. The thing is, it doesn't mean always cut everything out. It means let's make sure that we have it in reasonable amounts and we're not going overboard. So I wanna give you some healthier alternatives so you are not leaning on the fake stuff. I want you to look at things like stevia's honey, table sugar, coconut, 100% syrups, agave nectar, applesauce is an amazing sweetener to use in baking. So. One food as a registered dietitian that I say that you should never have is artificial sweeteners. Have the real, stay away from the fake, and start taking better care of yourself. I know now, so since I know better, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll do better. Thank you for the information. Hey. Are you tired trying to figure out, am I having good food choices? And like, you're constantly questioning yourself and you're like, I need some concrete evidence on am I doing the right thing? But for me, I wanna help you out with that. Look, go check out my website, get180well.com, so that way I can help you with figuring out what you need. If you need a personalized plan, because you know that you're a unique individual with unique body and needs and health goals, I wanna help you get to those. So go to the website, schedule a free discovery call, but in the meantime, let's get back to this video. 
And y'all, stay tuned. This is a five-part series. I might even throw a bonus in there where I'm going to walk you through five foods that you are going to want to stay away from. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.